Hi everyone, my name is Trenton Hoshiko, and I know what you're probably thinking. How are tennis balls going to help keep my film set safe? Well, we're going to be using these tennis balls when using a C-stand to hold a lighting modifier and having the gobo arm stick out. Now, proper set etiquette will have you angle the arm up or down so it's less of a hazard of being run into, something that could really knock the stand over or just if it's sticking out, it could poke someone's eye out or break a lens, just to name a few avoidable disasters. But even if the goa arm is in the correct position, C-stands can be a bit of a hard thing to see at times. And that's where the fluorescent yellow of the tennis ball comes in. Now you can buy a pack of these, about 18 for $20 on Amazon, for example, and then you just carefully cut a one inch by one inch X into the side of the tennis ball. And then you can easily slide it over the end of the gobo arm to make it plainly visible to anybody walking around. Plus, if someone does walk into it, the larger surface area and soft texture will help reduce any damage caused. Seriously, this fast, simple, and cheap tool could save someone from lifelong vision impairment. And here's a bonus tip. We also must care for the locations we're using and to protect them from damage that we could cause. C-stands and light stands aren't always the easiest on floors, and without wheels, they can scratch or chip things that are not protected. Tennis balls, once again, help us out here, and using the same method, we cut a hole, and then we can slide it over the end of the foot. If you have the budget and crew available, you can use materials like Ramboard, which is a really good option for protecting floors directly. And lastly, always remember to use sandbags to weigh down the tallest leg of your C-stand to reduce the chances of it tipping over. If you like cinematography tip videos like this one, please give the video a like to help me with the YouTube algorithm and make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos about tools for cinematography, lighting, and micro budget filmmaking. Now, personally, I really don't like long drawn out videos, so I work really hard to keep these focused on getting you the info you need right away. However, these videos are not free for me to make, so if you can, please join me over at Patreon at patreon.com slash Trenton Hoshiko. I'm currently aiming to get around 20 patrons, or if you use Kofi, you can send me a tip for my coffee fund at kofi.com slash Trenton Hoshiko. You can find affiliate links to products discussed in this video in this video's description, and these links really do help support the production of these videos. If you want to read more, you can check out my cinematography blog at trinanhashiko.com slash cinematography. You can also pop over to Twitter to follow me there, where you can find a lot about what I'm gardening or cooking, and a lot less about cinematography, but hey, it's a fun place. All of these links are in the video's description, and until next time, please take care of yourselves.